Welcome to the Flag Bearer Channel. This is Little Known Black History Facts. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. DJ Kool Herc and Sylvia Robinson, pioneers of hip hop and rap music. From block parties to global phenomena. Rap is original poetry, recited in rhythm and rhyme over pre recorded instrumental tracks. Rap music, also referred to as hip-hop music, evolved in conjunction with the cultural movement. Its earliest performers were MCs and DJs, break dancers and graffiti writers. From its humble beginnings in the Bronx, New York, rap music has moved into the mainstream, redefining the soundscape and character of American popular culture and contributing to the growth of a billion-dollar entertainment industry. Hip-hop DJs and MCs originally performed in local house parties and community centers, city parks, neighborhood block parties, and eventually local clubs. By the mid-1970s, performance venues included local clubs whose proprietors recognized the commercial potential of this artistic expression. Record and film producers then noticed and began to capitalize on hip-hop culture. DJ Kool Herc gave the community its blueprints and its first brand of hip-hop music called B-Beat. DJ Kool Herc was the earliest major figure to emerge from the mid-70s Bronx, New York music scene that would eventually come to be known as hip-hop. Influenced by soul, rock, funk, reggae, and dancehall, DJ Kool Herc staged parties that spawned a global youth culture rooted in the African-American experience. On August 11, 1973, in the Bronx, New York, DJ Kool Herc made history when he and his sister Cindy began hosting back-to-school parties in the recreation room of their building. It was these gatherings that would spark the beginning of the culture we know today as hip-hop. Herc held a back-to-school jam party for his sister at 1520 Sedgwick Avenue. That moment has been credited as a foundational event in the birth of hip-hop. Herc pioneered extending the breakbeat on records by playing the same record on two turntables and cueing the break in the record, which he noticed had the greatest effect on the dancers at the parties. This was emulated all over the New York City area during the 1970s. He coined the terms B-Boys and B-Girls for the dancers who were breaking. He became known as the first DJ and the founding father of hip-hop. DJ Kool Herc, born Clive Campbell, was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2023. Sylvia Robinson was a singer, writer, and music producer. In the 60s, Robinson became one of the first ever female music producers and one of the first women to start a record label. In 1973, she released the single Pillow Talk. And in 1974, the song was nominated for Best Female R&B Vocal Performance at the Grammy Awards. By the late 70s, there was a new mood in New York, and at a party in the culturally rich Sugar Hill area, Robinson heard rapping for the first time. Sylvia once stated in an interview that she was inspired to put the concept on a record. She felt certain that there was a musical revolution happening. Along with her late husband, Joe, Sylvia founded the very first hip-hop record label, Sugar Hill Records, in 1979. The company was named after the upmarket section of Harlem. Sylvia gave her son, Joey, the task of finding someone who could rap on tape. Joey recruited his friend, Big Hank, from an Inglewood pizzeria and Master G and Wonder Mike from the surrounding neighborhood. Under the name Sugar Hill Gang, they released the hit single, Rapper's Delight. Even though it was quickly produced at $750, Sylvia, who had just discovered what rap was about, still knew a hit when she heard one, and she was keen on jumping on the trend before it exploded. In the same year, the record label released the song Rapper's Delight by the Sugar Hill Gang. The song had become widely known as rap's first hit. It was a monumental song that is said to have introduced the world to rap and rhyming. Rapper's Delight was produced by Sylvia, it became the first commercially successful hip-hop single, selling over 2 million copies and cracking the top 40, and helping to turn a music and dance style from the Bronx into a global cultural force. 
the street culture of hip hop transformed into a commercially viable art form. It was the first rap single to conquer the radio and the charts, but Sylvia's impact on hip hop didn't stop there. In 1982, she and Grandmaster Flash produced one of the most iconic rap singles of the 20th century, The Message. At Sugar Hill Records, Sylvia never dealt with the business side of things, only the creative. She was the producer, the co-writer, and the A&R person. Sylvia sold Sugar Hill in 1994. She literally changed the way many looked at the music business and created a path for many women to become part of the business in executive positions. After Sugar Hill's demise, Sylvia and Joe Robinson divorced. Sylvia formed another label, Bon Ami Records, but the label didn't produce any hit singles, though they did sign an act under the name New Style, who later changed their name and became Naughty by Nature. From the first rap single to sell a million, to the first scratching on records, Sylvia Robinson created the template for hip-hop's world domination. Her genius for production built an empire. Within a few years, she had built one of the top independent labels in America. Her success with Sugar Hill was historic. She's arguably one of the most consequential producers and label owners of all time. Her business opened the doors for all the independents that followed from Def Jam to Top Dog, and her music pioneered distinct concepts that set the template for hip hop's entire creative arc. From party rocking to showcasing the DJ as musician to social consciousness, Sugar Hill made everything possible for today's hip hop stars. Rapper's Delight ended up being the first rap single to take over the radio and charts and to sell over a million records. It is also credited for introducing hip-hop music to a wide audience. Grandmaster Flash of the Furious Five, whose 1982 single The Message is known as one of the greatest hip-hop records of all time. Sylvia later signed an all-female rap funk group, The Sequence, and she continued producing music until her death in 2011. Sylvia Robinson's story is not only the story of female empowerment at a time when the world of music was male-dominated, but it's also a story of the origin of hip-hop and how her determination, her immense talent, and her savvy business sense fostered an entire musical movement. Today, hip-hop music is different from what it once was. The vast majority of hip-hop record labels and artists focus more so on money and fame rather than the music itself. Nevertheless, there are still some artists that are true to the form. Until next time, if you like little known history facts as I do, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Press the bell to be notified of future uploads. Thank you for watching.